there have been many violent protests that have interfered with uh, uh, proceedings. Has the government uh, uh, applied this provision to other protests in the past? The Supreme Court heard oral arguments on whether part of an obstruction law can be used to prosecute hundreds of defendants involved in the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol, a case that also has implications for former President Donald Trump. A former Pennsylvania police officer, Joseph Fisher, is appealing a lower court's ruling denying his bid to evade a federal charge of corruptly obstructing an official proceeding. The nine justices appear divided along ideological lines with the majority appearing wary of siding completely with the Biden Justice Department. Justice Samuel Leto and Justice Neil Gorsuch raised more hypothetical questions, which appeared to reference recent headlines. Well, yesterday, protesters blocked the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and disrupted traffic in San Francisco. What if something similar to that happened all around the Capitol so that members, all the bridges from Virginia were blocked and members from Virginia who needed to appear at a hearing couldn't get there or were delayed in getting there. Would that be a, a violation of this provision? Would a heckler in today's audience qualify or at the State of the Union address? Would pulling a fire alarm uh, um, before a vote qualify for 20 years in federal prison? There are multiple elements of the statute that I think might not be satisfied by those hypotheticals. But Justice Brent Kavanaugh, a Trump appointee and a key swing vote for the high court, questioned the government's insistence on the necessity of using an obstruction charge by noting Fisher was charged with six other crimes related to the riot. Why aren't those six counts good enough just uh, from the Justice Department's perspective? Prosecutors say Fisher sent text messages before the January 6th riot, including a text saying his former police chief may need to, quote, post my bail because the protests might get violent. The former police officer who contends he was only inside the Capitol for a few minutes after he was pushed into the police line by the crowd is asking the justices to throw out the obstruction charge, not the other charges he faces. The Supreme Court's three Democratic appointed justices, Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, and Ketanji Brown Jackson, appeared in early questioning to favor the Justice Department's position. So you have a very good case there, and it was a complete failure. You know, Begay said we'd look back at this other, at this thing that Congress did, you know, did not use in the otherwise provision, and we derive various things from it, and we put it in, it was purposeful, violent, and aggressive, and then a few years later we said, where did that come from? We made it up, and we get rid of the whole thing. So that's not a great advertisement for rewriting a statute. More than 300 defendants have been charged with violating the obstruction statute, and more than 50 have pleaded guilty to the count. Trump has been charged with two counts under the same law, conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding and obstruction of an official proceeding in special counsel Jack Smith's 2020 election subversion case. The former president has pleaded not guilty to both of those counts, along with two others that arose from his actions in the weeks following the 2020 election. The Supreme Court will hear another major case on April 25th in Trump's assertion of the presidential immunity from prosecution in the election subversion case brought against him by Smith.